Hello, and welcome to Microsoft SQL Server 101, everything you need to know if you are a junior or involuntary DBA. My name is Sean Stewart, and I've been working with SQL Server for over 15 years. I have several Microsoft certifications, and I was first certified back on Microsoft SQL Server 7.0. Since that time, I've obtained certifications on SQL Server 2005 and SQL Server 2008. For my day job, I'm the Senior Database Administrator at the largest credit union in Arizona, I'm also the co-author of the book Tribal SQL, which is due for publication in October 2013. The intended audience for this course is those people commonly referred to as involuntary DBAs, meaning people who typically have no experience with databases, but find themselves in charge of SQL servers simply by virtue of the fact that they work in the IT department. They might work at a small company with a small IT staff and their primary role may be as a network administrator or a Windows administrator or something similar. But their company needed somebody to look after the SQL servers and they were volunteered. The other audience is junior DBAs. These may be people just starting out in their DBA career or perhaps they were DBAs on another platform such as Oracle and now they're working with Microsoft SQL Server for the first time. In either case, some knowledge of the SQL language is helpful particularly Microsoft's implementation, which is called Transact SQL, or TSQL. We won't really be delving into the language too much, but some basic knowledge is helpful. Also, while most of what I show you will be done using SQL Server's graphical interface, everything can also be done via TSQL commands, which are typically called scripts. I'll be providing you with some scripts later on, and we'll also show you how the graphical interface can generate some scripts for you. Uh, just a brief aside here, I've mentioned the term DBA or database administrator a couple of times, but what exactly is a DBA? My favorite definition is the DBA is the protector of the data. It's the job of the DBA to make sure the data is safe, that it's being backed up, that it's only being accessed by the appropriate people or programs, and that this access happens in a timely manner.